In our last session, we focused on 5G and RTX measurements combined with ping testing. Uh, now we want to do a throughput analysis. So Christian, how I configure CMW squares to control the CMX500 to do throughput measurements? Yeah. So you just go to the test environment, to your squares where you control the services and where you control the network simulation. So here you select the service area and uh, with that you can add squares to analyze data throughput. And that's the best environment um, to be chosen is iperf. So we add an iperf um, service. We can add an additional workspace where we see the measurements for iperf. So let's put in here iperf um, measurements. Let's switch off our ping measurements from um, our last video. So what do we need? We need a client and we need a server for iperf. Yeah. So the client is generating data and is pumping the data to the server, to the iperf server. So our client is our test setup and our server is our um, device under test, which is connected. And uh, for that, we, we have all the configurations mm -hmm. which you need. So we need a client which is doing UDP data. We have the IP address of our um, device under test and actually roughly 20 or 20 megabits uh, data bandwidth here in the configuration. So what we do is we start the data load generation by clicking the run button here. And in the end, we see a throughput of roughly um, 20 megabits going to the device. Um, if I'm interested in the throughput, which is going on at the moment, we can have a closer look by enabling just the throughput view. So that's a throughput measurement. Um, now I want to do dynamic scheduling. How can I configure that? So as the CM squares concept is, you can do everything in parallel and make all the changes in all the domains. So we go back to our test environment and we can go to our cell configuration, to our network configuration. And we go into our um, scheduling config area. So there we have, um, for example, possibility to configure our slot assignments, which we are um, using to um, schedule data in the downlink or in the uplink then. Yeah? So basically here you can uh, define what ratio I have between downlink and uplink. And then in the flexibility slot where I switch from downlink to uplink, how many symbols are downlink, how many symbols are uplink? Is that about right? Exactly. So we have already defined the ratio of downlink and uplink slots. So we have seven by two um, downlink uplink slots, for example. Yeah. And uh, here we can really define then the slot um, um, scheduling parameters. Yeah. So things like MCS, things like, things like uh, MIMO um, scheme, two cross two or four cross four, um, or resource block allocation um, for exactly that slot. So in 5G new radio, you can change that yeah. in any slot. That's awesome. Uh, and now we make it even more stressful for the device. Can we do something like power control, like drive it from a power level to another? Yes, of course, that's possible in the CM Squares environment. As we discussed before, we can go um, to the TX measurement. So let's go and see what the uplink is doing during our iperf um, transmission at the moment. So we have an area in our um, network configuration where we can say, okay, we can control all aspects of uh, power control. Yeah, And one is here, the area where you do TPC um, power control. And yeah, let's drive it from the current um, power level. So you see it's roughly um, at 12, 13 uh, dBMs. Um, we drive it to the maximum power. Mm -hmm. so let's see where we can get. So we drive it from here to um, about yeah, 18 dBMs of output power in the uplink of the okay. mobile. So that's great. So we combined for the throughput analysis now also power control. We can apply dynamic scheduling um, as we have seen in a semi-static manner. Um, so that's great. Thank you so much, Christian, for the, all the explanations. Um, and I hope you learned that the CMAX 500 is the platform to test 5G devices. You can look at all aspects of it, RF measurements, end-to-end -end type of testing and such. Uh, we hope you learned a little bit 
and thank you for joining us uh, in the video series brought to you by Roland Schwartz called Demystifying 5G.